the palace opened up as never before. For a moment, there was such a great feeling in the country. It was like, yes, we did this and we have come together. In this programme, we look back over the 60 tumultuous years since the Queen's coronation and look ahead to the next monarch. There. In the 2002 Golden Jubilee celebrations, the palace was given a central role. In a bid to regain the nation's affection, the grounds were opened up to a pop concert for the first time ever. Headlining was some of the biggest names from British rock. This, in a sense, was part of a, a kind of a PR operation. You know, the Queen had been through difficult times. The, the, the palace had been through the whole Diana thing. And I think in a lot of people's minds, the palace was rather remote. And there was this feeling that, that royalty really weren't in touch with the public. So this was part of an attempt to, to bring things together, consciously, and in a nice way, I think. On the day of the concert, 12,000 ticket holders poured into the palace gardens. About half an hour before we were due to go on the air live, I couldn't hear the orchestra, that wire had gone wrong. And I remember saying to someone, well, we need a new wire. And they went, well, we need permission from the palace to run another wire up here. And I went, it's half an hour's time, get that wire. So eventually I could hear them, they could hear me, and it happened live. And it was a stupendous feeling, I'm gonna say. I did feel that we achieved what we set out to do, and it was on the front of every paper the next day. And for a moment, there was such a great feeling in the country. It was like, yes, we did this, and we have come together. A few years later, Brian May was welcomed back to Buckingham Palace at a reception to celebrate the British music industry. I said, good evening, Mum, or something. And I said, I'm the, the guy who, um, who made that terrible noise on your roof. I hope I didn't disturb you. And she, she smiled and she said, oh, it was you, was it? So I introduced her to Clapton, and to Jeff Beck and to Jimmy Page. And she said to Eric Clapton, oh, how long have you been playing then? And he said, quite a while, really, Mum. The PR offensive around the palace continued with more receptions and more TV cameras let inside. <laughs> 